Hey guys, it's Omewrecker, and this is going to be my third vlog update on the channel. It's been a really long time since we last did one. I think it's been about five months, way, way, way too long, and I apologize for that, but I will tell you guys, and most of you guys knew this, I, I was finishing my college degree in business administration. And I finally did that um, earlier this summer. I graduated, and I, I've already got my college degree. Uh, it's all framed up. And I graduated with high honors. It was a really, really proud moment. And yeah, I mean, here we are. Uh, I've, I've now got more free time. I'm trying to, uh, you know, essentially figure out the future of my channel and, and kind of what I'm doing uh, now with YouTube. Because uh, before, with school and YouTube, uh, it was, you know, kind of difficult to, to manage time sometimes, especially around finals. Uh, you know, especially my last, uh, you know, my last term at college. I had a capstone uh, a course that was just a nightmare, and I ended up having to turn in a, a you know, paper that you know pretty much everyone in class also had to do. But uh, the the paper that we turned in or that was turned in uh, for my final project uh, was over, uh, I think it was like 80 to you know, it was like 100 pages or something like that when all was said and done, and it was just it was it was ridiculous, totally ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, so this is essentially the one-year celebration. While I talk about everything, you guys right now are seeing gameplay footage of Hearthstone. And surprisingly, I matched against Kate, a.k.a. Lovely Momo. And uh, she's also uh, Northern Lion's girlfriend. She's a friend of mine, and uh, we matched randomly in auto-match. It was the craziest thing. We didn't even mean to match up. It just happened. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's, let's get into a little bit of the history of my channel. Because it's been one year, officially. So, it wasn't until uh, about September of 2012 that I finally uh, was able to put up TGS branding on my channel and I was all converted over. I was able to, you know, they had access to my AdSense and uh, they were going to handle all monetization and whatnot uh, for me from that point on. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's literally been one full year this month. And at that time, uh, I had about 3,400 subs. And uh, I was so lucky that Total Biscuit helped me because I was able to go straight into TGS. And uh, initially, he, you know, he provided some really cool uh, bumps for me. Actually, I'll, I'll just give you guys a timeline right now. There, there was the the Total Biscuit bump, uh, which when he gave me a thumbs up, then he did a favorite uh, for me, which showed up on his timeline, and that gave me a bump. And I, it was very, very quickly after I joined the network, I was over 5,000 subs when I came in at 3,400. Um, then. Uh, the next thing I did was, uh, oh, I actually, I was about to say worms, but no, uh, I had an FTL guide. It was a guide on how to unlock all the ships in FTL, and that was covered on the TGS podcast. Uh, so that was another, you know, a lot of exposure uh, to my channel, uh, to a lot of people that didn't, you know, had never heard of me. At that time, they were watching guys like Nerd Cubed and stuff because he was just so huge, Hello? and uh, he was making his his uh, FTL series and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it, you know, it was. It was uh, Really, really awesome to, to, you know, be able to get that kind of support early on. And uh, then I did Worms Revolution with uh, Total Biscuit, in which uh, he, I think it was called a Hyper what t or WTF is, and he very directly, you know, told the viewers, like, hey, go check out Omrecker at youtube.com slash masked gamer. And he clarified uh, that it was, you know, masked gamer. And uh, it was just awesome. Really, really awesome. And uh, then um, beyond that, you know, here these are all just sequence of or sequence of events uh, that kind of led to where I am today. Uh, but you know, it was just compounding growth, and of course, I, I was doing my own videos at the time too. I was covering new games. I was kind of feeling things out with my quick looks. I was uh, starting to launch some, you know, at that time I think it was like Ohm Plays uh, was was the name, but it could have been Ohm Likes. I was kind of messing around with the different names for titling. And I wasn't really sure exactly what to go with, but uh, anyway, um, not long after that, after the Worms video, uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken and I had been in, in touch for months. We had both joined the network around the same time. We were both in the same boat. Like he, you know, he, he was really wanting to do YouTube as like his job essentially. And I had similar interests. I thought it could be really cool to, you know, be a part of uh, the YouTube community and, uh, you know, expand my audience and and you know make gameplay videos for for everybody showing off new games and whatnot or just playing games for fun and uh you know at that time i i received a number of codes for monaco uh monaco what's yours is mine i think it was called uh we had four codes or i had four 
And I went to Ken and I said, hey Ken, uh, do you want to try out this game with me? It's co-op. It's called Monaco. It's a little goofy, you know, indie heist game where you go and you essentially you're stealing well, they're supposed to be coins or something, but they look like diamonds that are just kind of spinning. Or, or uh, even, like, squares that are just rotated. But, um, yeah, he, he said he would be in, and I said, okay, let's find two more people. I was kind of, you know, putting out feelers. I'm pretty sure I messaged uh, Total Biscuit to see if he'd be in. And uh, he also put out his own feelers, and he said, hey, uh, Cryotic would be in. And I hadn't met Cryotic yet, but I'd heard of him. And, I, you know, I knew that... Uh, you know, he, he had a really big following, he's supposed to be a really funny guy. I said, yeah, that'd be awesome, you know, let's let's get him in here. And then when he came in, he said, hey, uh, you guys want to uh, do a collab with PewDiePie? And I knew PewDiePie before because I, I remember seeing his first Amnesia video. Because it went pretty much viral. And uh, yeah, we, we got PewDiePie in and uh, Cryotic and Ken. We did, we started off the series. Uh, so by the end of December, I... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd gotten this huge bump from just putting up, like, a preview of Monaco with PewDiePie, uh, Cryotic, and Ken. And it was just amazing. I, I just, you know, I remember being, like, so happy with where things were at. And then once the new year rolled around, I, I think we started uploading uh, the other videos. Now, fortunately, PewDiePie, uh, he had only uploaded one. But, um, you know, that, that was actually... It, it, you know, it, it was totally fine. Like, the rest of us, we kept on going for the most part. Uh, Kratic, I don't think recorded, but what he was doing was he was thumbsing, or he was doing thumbs up on videos that he was in. Uh, so his, his, or no, I'm sorry, not thumbs up. He was doing bulletins on his channel. And then that way people would see the video and uh, go support it. Uh, so yeah, that was really, really awesome, uh, or awesome of him. And... Uh, an another huge surge, and actually, uh, if I haven't already, I should probably put up a image of just like my overall growth over the past year, so you guys can see very visibly uh, these uh, you know bumps in in uh, traffic and whatnot and, and subscribers. Uh, it it's very visible on my graph as to how I've grown over time. Uh, so around that time, I also met Northern Line, and uh, Northern Line or Northern Line and I, I think, uh, hit it off pretty well when we first met. And the first thing that, uh, we, you know, we were talking about when I met him was uh, a game called The Cave by Double Fine. And uh, that game had just come out. He was making videos, I was making videos. We were a couple of the first people to have access uh, to the game early. And it essentially was more or less just, you know, saying like, Hey, uh, would you be interested in, like, mentioning my videos and I'll mention yours? And uh, he was up for it, uh, surprisingly, and, and uh, that's what we did. We... We kind of supported each other a bit, and um, you know we're we're essentially cross-linking on social media like Twitter and whatnot. And then not long after that, uh, I got access to Arma 3. He expressed he had some interest in it. I said, "Hey, let me see if I can get codes." I was able to get codes for Northern Lion and some other people uh, that he was friends with, and we ended up doing some collaborations. And uh, we had a blast. I, it was so so funny. Uh, it, you know, just uh, there was a chopper incident, for example, that was pretty much like. Notorious, uh, you know, just, uh, er, just well, not even notorious, but it was just like, I people, you know, they were pretty pumped up about it for a while, just because it was just such a weird coincidence for him to be landing in this helicopter, and he landed essentially on top of me and killed me in the, in Arma Three after we were just about to escape. Uh, but uh, anyway, so yeah, there are all these really cool things happening, and this year I spent most of the year hanging out with uh, Northern Line for the most part. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, after the new year, um, it, much like every other year in games, things kind of, there's a little bit of a slump. Uh, less games are coming out. Uh, so, you know, it, it versus at the tail end of a year when it's the holiday season, there's too many games. It's like, oh my god, what do I play? How do I make time for all these games? People are getting burnt out. You know, it's just way too much stuff at once. But once January rolls around, it's like, oh god, what do I play? There's nothing to play. Unless I go back and play games that I missed or whatever, or, you know, start up an old Let's Play again. And I, so that's kind of the position I was in. And uh, but you know, I, through Northern Line, I met a lot of other cool people as well. Uh, Jay Smith, OTI, Rockley Smile, A Pack of Patrol, Mathis Games, Green Ninety Ninety, uh, just so many people. And and even most or more recently, through them, I've met other YouTubers as well. Many of whom have been uh, working on uh, building up their own audience. You know, there's uh, guys like uh, Bear Taffy and Zero Doxy and and uh, Prescription Pixel, Player Uno and Bisnap and all those guys. So. Uh, just, you know, lots and lots of people I got to meet. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just really, really cool. 
uh, this year to, you know, essentially have a, a connection with all these people who are essentially having the same journey as me. You know, we're all in it together, essentially. We're, we're all trying to make YouTube work. And, uh, you know, it's it just... Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta have that uh, extra push. You gotta be able to motivate yourself. There's some times with the, the YouTube side that's just really, really discouraging. Uh, you might feel like, hey, you know, my, my subs are down, I'm, I'm kind of bummed. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, is, is this like a sign that things aren't working? Like, what do I do, you know? And uh, you, you always gotta be pushing yourself, and it definitely helps to have people that understand. Um, so, uh, as, as, you know, I was getting close to my one-year mark, I, you know, I graduated from college, I'm like, alright, so what am I gonna do now? Like, what am I doing with this? And, uh, you know, I was, I was trying to essentially see, like, hey, can, you know, can, can we still make this YouTube thing work? Uh, my girlfriend was, you know, essentially, you know, she, she's behind it, uh, for the most part. She's, she wants to see where it goes to, and, um, she's been supportive. Uh, but it's, it's still very scary, uh, cause, you know, YouTube, uh, for the most part, until you get really big, it doesn't pay a whole lot. And it, it is a scary journey, for sure. But, um, yeah, this, in, in the past 30 days or so, there's been some really crazy stuff that also gave me another boost. So, I, about a month ago, I was thinking, hey, I should do an update uh, for my channel, you know, just kind of celebrating the fact that I'm a year out. And at that time, I was just about to break 30,000. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, hey, you know, this is a good point. Like, hey, I went from 3,400 people to, th to 30,000, uh, which is a big number. And, uh, that, you know, it's a perfect milestone, but uh, things things happened. Uh, so, uh, about a month ago in the morning, uh, PewDiePie reached out, and I, I talked to him, you know, every so often. And uh, he reached out, he said, hey, you want to link up with us for some uh, Gary's Mod? I said, yeah, that's, you know, that's cool, I can do that. And uh, so, we, you know, he told me to get Hamachi installed. I, I didn't have that. I told him, hey, you know, this is going to be my first time playing. He's like, oh, that's cool, man, you know, uh, no big deal. It'll be funny uh, to see, how, you know, essentially how I play as a first-timer and whatnot, and uh, we linked up, and he told me, I, I had asked him, I said, are we doing this for fun or to record, and he said, well, right now we're doing it for fun, but it would be a mistake, or no, he said, you'll regret it if you don't record, that's what he told me. Uh, so I ended up, you know, recording in Fraps, and we played uh, Gary's mod, I try to remember the name of the first mod, it's like, you, one person's an alien, or two people are an alien, and uh, then we also did Trouble in Terrace Town, and then we did Prop Hunt. And this was with him and uh, two new people I hadn't met yet, or met before. There was uh, RPG Minx, aka I think uh, she also goes by Hannah Minx, and uh, also uh, in the Little Wood, also known as Martin from Yogg's Cast. Uh, both of them are awesome, awesome people, and I really had a good time with them. I even linked up with Minx again for some uh, Damned, uh, which is a multiplayer uh, game, kind of like uh, trying to think how to explain it. What? How would you explain Damned? Damned is like. Uh, God, I don't even know. It's 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 like almost like an amnesia type game, except the player plays the monster. So, uh, yeah, you know, it was a really really cool experience. Uh, I had a great time, and uh, of course, uploading you know some of the Trouble in Terrace Town videos and whatnot uh, provided me with the bump. And then something else happened that was really awesome. I ended up also uh, hearing from uh, Blizzard, and I got into the Hearthstone beta, and I also got codes to give away, and uh, you know to. Uh, either YouTubers or, or not YouTubers, I'm sorry, but to my YouTube audience or even on a Twitch channel. And I have a Twitch channel at the time. I, I was streaming, you know, sometimes as many as many as like two days a week or so, but nothing crazy. Uh, but once I got those codes, I started streaming a lot. And people are telling me they loved my giveaways because there were a lot of streamers out there that were just being really big jerks about it. They were making people wait like eight hours to get codes and whatnot. Uh, whereas I was really quick with it, you know, I, I was I was giving away codes about every half hour to 45 minutes, uh, you know, essentially like I, I wasn't screwing around, I wasn't screwing people around, and uh, people certainly appreciated it. So I uh, ended up, uh, you know, going and and uh, starting that off, and for the most part, it was the the biggest gains I saw was on Twitch. My Twitch channel got a lot bigger. Uh, although YouTube, I didn't see quite as big of a bump. Most of the bump that I got on YouTube came from the r slash Hearthstone uh, subreddit community because I was giving away codes there as well, and there I was able to mention my YouTube channel, but when I was doing my Twitch streams, I didn't really, you know, get to drive so many people over to YouTube. Uh, so, um, but here's, here's the other big thing that happened this month, right before this video happened, actually. Uh, PewDiePie had a new thread this year on his forum. Uh, where, you know, he's essentially said, I know there's people out there who, you know, are also striving to be successful on YouTube. 
he wanted to give back. He set up some rules. You know, you have to upload X amount of videos a week. You need to, uh, you know, have X amount of subs. I think it was like a hundred. It wasn't, you know, a whole lot. And uh, another was like, I think your YouTube channel had to be at least a month old or something like that. And uh, so he set up this thing, and I, I ended up, you know, posting something in there. You know, it kept my fingers crossed, but you know what? I wasn't expecting anything. I, I tried the previous year, but Cinnamon Toast Ken got in. Uh, I was not chosen. This year I got chosen. Uh, PewDiePie not only chose me uh, for featuring his, his uh, Fridays with PewDiePie video. And uh, let's see, what, what's the actual date? In case any of you guys want to go back and look. Uh, it was the uh, 20th of September. He uploaded it. First shout out on Wrecker. Really cool guy. I, I actually spoke to him a little bit. Super nice. He has a nice channel. There's some videos of me in here somewhere, so that should be fun. And on that day, uh, with Fridays with PewDiePie, he went through a number of different channels. I was the first one he covered. Uh, he showed my channel on his screen. He talked briefly about it. He put a link in the description leading to it. And it, it was just huge, huge, huge moments. Um, I, you know, here I was thinking I was going to be talking about 30,000 subs, but I've, as of this video, I'm over 35,000 and I'm on track to hit uh, 36,000 probably uh, by, you know, the end of this week uh, when I upload this video. So, uh, really, really huge thanks to him uh, for acknowledging me. Like, he, he has been uh, consistently one of the nicest guys I've met on YouTube. And I, I can't even, you know, thank him enough. Much like, uh, you know, the other people I've met and worked with. Uh, through this journey, I mean, Northern Lion and uh, Total Biscuit and and Rockley Smile, Apaca, Jay Smith, you know, Green Ninety Ninety, even Last Great Wolf. Last Great Wolf is a really cool guy. Uh, you know, just so many people uh, that along the way we've we've helped each other, and uh, you know, it's just it's it's been huge, absolutely huge. Uh, so as of this video, one year later, I have over thirty thousand subs more than what I had when I started. That's amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing. I personally, I don't think I, I, I don't think I even could have predicted this because I remember last year when I was thinking, like I was like, well, maybe in a year, uh, you know, I'll be like at twenty thousand. Like for me, twenty thousand sounded huge, but to be at thirty-five, that's amazing. And I, I appreciate you know all the support so much uh, from everybody that has been there with me along the way, even if I didn't always play the games that you guys liked. I know that I had a lot of FTL fans, and, and they were kind of bummed that I wasn't making those videos. I, I had uh, Don't Starve fans who wanted to see more Don't Starve. Uh, you know, I do move on from games from time to time. That's entirely true. And um, I, there's been plenty of people that suck around to watch my other stuff. And there's been fans of my Quick Looks. My Quick Looks are like my uh, impressions series, essentially. Where I'm not so much trying to be like a funny guy more than I'm trying to be like informative. Like, hey, here's this game. Here's how it plays. Uh, and, and it's almost like a hybrid of like a first impression slash let's play because I'll sit there and also play and talk about what I'm doing in the game as well. So you guys kind of know what it's like so you can make your decision on if you think it's worth picking up. Uh, and then I also have my own plays uh, series that uh, I do and I think the most recent one which like you're watching right now Hearthstone is uh, Hearthstone. And before that I was doing a lot of Splinter Cell. And uh, you know really that's just like where I'm not so much trying to criticize a game I'm just having fun with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 been great uh, all the support I've gotten even with twitch um, and and uh, now Twitter <clears throat> or, I'm sorry Twitter and now twitch rather the other way around uh, Twitch now I'm just about to break 15,000 followers, which is unbelievable like I'm so like happy and amazed at that Because uh, I'll tell you like a month ago. I was at like 2,500 followers uh, Which at that time I thought was pretty big too, uh, but to be at almost 15,000 is just insane and then tw uh, on Twitter, I'm at 6,500 followers. Uh, so it's just, you know, amazing levels of support. It's really, like, amazing to be able to start the day and go and check messages and just see all this feedback from fans. And um, it it's a great feeling. It really is. And I, I hope that anybody who is striving to do YouTube that's listening to this, I hope that you guys get there too because it's really nice to have people that care about what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, well, not all of them do. There are some trolls, you know, occasionally and whatnot. You gotta have some thick skin, but there's a lot of people who really genuinely care about what their favorite YouTubers do, or what their favorite streamers do, and it's, it's a really big honor to be in that position. And I hope that you guys get to be there too if you ever try this.
So, um, that leaves us to where we are today. Uh, 35,000 plus subs and rising. I don't know where I'm gonna be in December. Uh, I I'm personally, you know, I'm hoping that before I was hoping to get from 30 to 35, now I'm kinda hoping I'll get to 40. And, uh, who knows if that'll happen, or ha if it'll happen. If not, no big deal. I'm not gonna be upset about it, cause I'm grateful for what I have right now. But, um, you know, that, that would be a really cool number to hit. And who knows, maybe it'll be more than that. Uh, maybe things, you know, you never know what the future's gonna bring. Uh, just like that PewDiePie shout-out, you never know. A Total Biscuit recently was talking about having me on the Co-Optional Podcast. Uh, that that would be awesome, you know, let people get to know me better. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the future brings. But, guys, thank you so much uh, for sticking around and supporting me. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, one thing I do want to comment on is that, you know, with these collaborations, uh, last year something happened I wasn't too happy about. Uh, okay, so let's just get into it. Uh, I linked up with PewDiePie uh, last year, not long after I linked up with Total Biscuit, and it kind of seemed like there was an oil and water situation. It was, it was like, you know, oil and water don't mix, right? And I had my, I had fans that uh, had gotten to know me from the Total Biscuit collaborations and whatnot, and then, you know, I did the collaboration with PewDiePie and Cryotic and whatnot, and for whatever reason, like, here, here's the thing that's always blown my mind. There's there's all this talk about PewDiePie fans being immature, or people calling them kids, but more often than not, when when I see people from PewDiePie's side come into a you know channel to to essentially say hey I got sent here and trust me it happens with any community. Total Biscuit when he first linked me, people like were like TB Army incoming. Same thing happens, uh, but for whatever reason like people like to hate on on PewDiePie and honest to God he is one of the nicest dudes. I've met in the industry, and he's now the number one YouTuber. It is not, as far as I've ever been able to tell, has not gotten to his head. He does stuff like he, he did a charity fundraise. He's, he's you know, at this point with his contribution and TGS's and Twitch's contribution, he's already made his $250,000 goal for, you know, for charity water. It's, it's crazy. Like, this dude is contributing in good ways to society. He's giving back, he's giving, you know, like, shout-outs, and he's, he's, you know, linking up with people that are even, like, much smaller, th or smaller than uh, he is. Where there's, if, you know, for example, there's minimal gain. I, I'm not gonna drive uh, 50,000 subscribers to him or something if I link up with him, but who knew, you know, who knows? Uh, when he collaborates with people, if you look at Cinnamon Toast Ken, even Minx has been doing a lot of videos with him. Minx went from, like, 20,000 subscribers earlier this summer to over 100,000. And, you know, he, he's he's giving back a lot, uh, um, but, you know, again, this comes back to the oil and water thing. I don't know why there's got to be, a, you know, conflict. I, I really don't understand it. Um, you know, and, and it's, in my opinion, like, I, I don't mean to step on any toes, but um, if, if we're, you know, if, if you're ever going to call anybody immature or anything, it's, it's probably a good idea to, you know, also, like, uh, refrain from calling people kids. Or, you know, saying like, oh god, I hope these, you know, these PewDiePie fans don't stick around, or hey, I'm unsubscribing. Because uh, here's the thing, guys. Um, you might not always like who I collaborate with. And, you know, at the end of the day, realistically, my core series are going to keep, they're going to keep going up. Right? I'm still going to have my quick looks, I'm still going to have my own plays. I'm going to have new series, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be plenty of stuff with just me. And there might be stuff with Total Biscuit, there might be stuff with Northern Lion, there might be stuff with... Uh, Rockley Smile and Jay Smith and Alpaca. There might be stuff with PewDiePie. There might be stuff with Minx. There might be stuff with Cryotic. I'm even talking about doing stuff with like uh, Force Strategy and uh, you know. But if there's certain people that you're not the biggest fan of, just don't watch that video on your feed. It, it's equally immature to you know try to hurt a content creator by telling them you're going to unsubscribe to them because they've linked up with somebody. You know, I mean, think about it, right? I mean, it's it's just not a cool thing to do. Uh, so th that's the only, you know, n negative aspect, I guess, that occasionally pops up when I do these collabs. Uh, but these are people I consider friends, and I, you know, I, I feel bad when there's, there's got to be, you know, conflict. It, it sucks. Um, so, uh, with that out of the way, it, you know, because again, I just, I had a comment on that. Let's just get along, right, guys? I, if, if there's something you don't like, just, just skip that video. If you see somebody's name in it that you're not a fan of, just skip it. Watch my other stuff. Uh, but, um, let's go on to kind of like what's coming up. Well, first off, obviously, I've been playing the hell out of Hearthstone. Like, it, it, it's just insane with, uh, how much time I've spent with it. And part of the reason for that is because I've been doing these giveaways. 
Now, the giveaways are probably going to wrap up in the next week or so. Uh, as far as I know. Who knows? Maybe if they extend it, I'll probably have to try to figure out a new way to do it. Because realistically, I can't afford to like keep dedicating all my time to giveaways. Uh, but, uh, right now, that's kind of the situation. And Hearthstone is a big game. It's an awesome game. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't used to think that CCGs were exciting at all. I thought they were boring as hell. I, and, you know, I, I'll call myself a nerd. I, I, I'm, per you know, I'm perfectly fine calling myself a nerd when it comes to games. Because uh, I've, I've loved games since I was a kid. Uh, but I always kind of like it, you know, I was always like, oh, that's that's a little bit too nerdy for me, these card games. You know, it's like, well, you're make-believing that you've got a bear, or you've got a, a wolf, or, you know, you've, you're, you're, like, I, I didn't really understand what the point was. Oh, hey, I'm casting a spell with a card. Uh, but, uh, there were a couple people, Rockley Smile and Alpaca Patrol, with their magic series that got me to try magic. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot, whatever. And I liked it. Believe it or not, I liked it. And Hearthstone is the same exact thing. I like Hearthstone so much. I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, so that's why you guys have been seeing videos of it. Now, one thing I would like, though, from you guys is some feedback. Do you guys want uh, long videos or short videos of Hearthstone when I post them, or even any other game? Uh, because I'll tell you what, YouTube stats, they seem to indicate that like 10, maybe 15 minutes is a sweet spot. That's what most people seem to like. Most of my viewers seem to like 10 to 15 minutes. But, when I cut Hearthstone videos up into 10-15 minute chunks, that means I have to post a lot of them. And right now, for example, I have like 10 videos waiting in queue. I haven't put them up because I had one person complain like, Oh god, you're uploading so many Hearthstone videos, I don't like Hearthstone. And I was like, okay, maybe I should, you know, in my vlog, I should ask these guys. Because, of course, I want you guys to enjoy what you're seeing. Um, so, uh, yeah guys, let me know, you know, f really quick, uh, if you don't mind. Is Hearthstone something that uh, you don't mind seeing a lot of right now? Or would you rather me only highlight the best uh, clips and skip the other ones? Uh, do you want me to not do VODs but do, uh, you know, do, do stuff like dedicated YouTube videos like arena runs that are only for YouTube, not for Twitch? Uh, there, there's a lot of options out there. But I would really like to hear what you guys would like to see. And, um, beyond that, uh, yeah, I mean, it, the Hearthstone stuff will probably start to chill out a little bit soon. If you don't like Hearthstone, uh, that's good news to you. If you do like Hearthstone, don't worry, there will still be a, a decent number of videos each week. But it's not gonna be, like, three a day. Uh, at best, it would be one a day, uh, for a while. Um, at, at worst, it'll probably be, like, three a week. Uh, but it's a game I really enjoy. I'd like to keep it as an ongoing series. And I uh, hope you guys support that, but do let me know what, what you would like to see. Um, and also, the other cool thing about Hearthstone is right now it's, it's in beta. And uh, there's, you know, X amount of classes. There's talk about them adding new classes. There's talk about them adding new card packs. There's also talk about stuff like, hey, there might be uh, StarCraft packs one day. There might be Diablo packs. That would all be awesome. And uh, even more of a good reason here to... Uh, be, you know, spending time with the game and making content, because this is a game that I get that I, and that I enjoy. You know, it's it's really fun. Uh, so besides that, uh, you know, again, going forward, beyond Hearthstone, uh, here, you know, here's, here's some stuff that I'm planning right now. First up, I want to commit to at least one regular series each week. Every week, consistently. At least one, maybe even two. So you guys know, like, for example, I, I get requests for Dota 2 all the time. I... Uh, yeah, I would love to have at least one Dota video up each week. I uh, and I know that you know there's other games I want to get back to. There's um, uh, Prison Architect. I, and actually, here's another thing I was thinking. Since we're at a year mark, I was thinking about even starting up temporary series, kind of revisiting some games that that my subs used to love watching me play. Uh, that would include potentially FTL, Don't Starve, or even Prison Architect. I know that I had a lot of fans who really liked uh, Prison Architect as well. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to see a resurgence, let me know. Also, I'm planning on finishing Civilization V that run. I, I was right near the tail end, and I have people asking all the time, yes, Civilization V is, is something I do want to finish, and I can probably be finished in about two episodes. Now, am I going to keep playing it? That's up in the air. If there's enough demand when I upload that final episode, I might do a new run, and that might be another series. And realistically, if, if you know, I'm doing, like, a, a series that's... Uh, you know, even if I have three different series running at the same time, I'm cool with that. As long as you guys will watch it, I'll, I'll totally uh, do that. I'll, pl I'll play these games that you guys want to see. 
Uh, beyond that, uh, Arma 3 is out now. And if you've been watching my Twitch channel before the Hearthstone rush, I was playing a lot of Arma 3 Life, which is a mod where you roleplay as uh, either a civilian or as a cop. And we have had a blast with it. It is such a fun game. Now, if you guys want to see Hearthstone, or not Hearthstone, God, it's still on my mind. I play so much Hearthstone. If you guys want to see Arma 3 content on my channel, dedicated, or even highlights from the stream, let me know as well, because that's something that personally I'd really enjoy doing. Because it's, it's such a fun mod. Okay, what else? Uh, more quick looks. I, unfortunately, with the, again, Hearthstone stuff, I've, I've got a backlog of quick looks to do. But there's going to be a lot of quick looks. Now, one thing I do want to ask you guys is, do you currently enjoy my quick looks? Well, and uh, if so, uh, what do you like about them? And if not, what don't you like about them? I, I'm also curious to hear, do you prefer that I keep my quick looks really short? Or do you not mind so much if sometimes they're even 30 minutes or more? Because uh, each game kind of varies. Sometimes I can get a you know quick look done in about 14 minutes of footage or something. Other times I feel like I need a half hour just to show off the game properly. So you know that's another bit of feedback I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments. Also, um, uh, Twitch TV, uh, this is something that's still pretty new for me. I would love for you guys to go check it out. Um, it's you know not going to be my core thing. Like uh, YouTube is always going to be the core. Uh, but I do plan on having a stream schedule even after these giveaways end where it's probably going to be about three times a week at the very least or who knows maybe I'll even find a way to fit in seven days. I'm really not sure yet but I would love to see more of my YouTube fans over there because I feel like I haven't told you guys enough about the fact that I'm doing Twitch. And uh, we're getting really good numbers lately. I mean most of my streams uh, as of late have, have been at least about a thousand people. Uh, and my peaks have been 20 or 2,000 to like 2,500. So I would love to see you guys over there. We, we've got really cool chat icons if you're a subscriber. Uh, I run a minimal amount of ads. I, uh, you know, have really good uh, or really good quality, uh, you know, for, for what you guys are seeing on your end. Uh, very, very, you know, like high, it's at least 30 frames per second no matter what I play. And uh, you shouldn't really be getting any lag. You got quality options since I'm now partnered. Uh, so lots of cool stuff. Uh, but, uh, with all that aside, I think I've covered most of what I wanted to cover here, guys. But, um, again, I, I do want you guys to let me, or I do want to let you guys know, rather, that, um, I couldn't have gotten to where I am today without all the support that you guys showed me. And I really do appreciate that. Um, and I hope that you will continue to be with me on this journey Hello. as we go forward. And, you know, because really I do still have a long way to go. Uh, I am done with college now, but uh, right now I can tell you that YouTube is not paying me well at all. I I could work at McDonald's for and make more. Uh, but that could change over time. And, um, you know, again, I, I am only going to be as successful as you guys uh, allow me to be, essentially. If you guys don't like what I, I'm doing, if you don't like what I'm creating, feel free to send me honest feedback, even if it's in a private message, you know, even if you don't want to start a flame war or whatever, feel free to send feedback because I always do read it. And, uh, you know, feel free to be honest. Uh, honesty is, is much easier to, to take when it's delivered in a nice way. And I can't always, you know, change things based off just one person. Uh, but I do read things and I do try to uh, do what I can, uh, you know, it, whenever things make sense, essentially. Whenever I think, yeah, you know what, I, I totally agree with that. I should do this differently. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for being here with me. And I... Yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be really, really exciting to see where we go from here. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, I, I'm going to let this Hearthstone footage continue to roll out. Um, and this wasn't necessarily the best run, but I did think it was kind of interesting. Because uh, I did link up with Kate and... You know, I was testing a new build. It, honestly, this build is kind of crappy, and I'll be the first to admit it. If there's any Hearthstone pros out there who are like, Oh, what are you doing with all these spells? I was trying to see if I could make spell power work. And, uh, it was fun. It's a fun uh, deck to play with. But it certainly needed tweaks, and I'm still working on it. Because I do want to see if a uh, Ice Mage could work. That's what I'm calling this one. I'm calling it Ice Mage. I want to see if it can work. I think, I think it would be awesome if I could make it work. So, um, yeah. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of the footage. And I will see all of you guys next time. Hello.
that was a mistake. The elements will destroy you. My magic will tear you apart. Sometimes I forget things. Magic will tear you apart.
My magic will tear you apart. Job done. I'm almost out of cards. Thank you. 